Labour MP Tamanjit Deshi is weighing in. Before the vote, he tweeted, Conservatives need to develop some moral backbone and do the right thing. Remove Boris Johnson and reintroduce standards and values back into the now degraded office of Prime Minister. Tory Sleaze, he says, has no place in our government or in our democracy. Well, the MP is joining me now live. Uh, so thanks for joining us. A party divided, um, a nationally unpopular leader. You would expect this to be a victory for your party, the Labour Party in opposition. Um, no sign of that as of yet, though, because this is a man who is still standing. So what do you make of what happened on Monday? Well, Becky, I very much see this as a farcical and a highly unacceptable situation. Uh, as you rightly said, what I, I wanted and I think the country wanted was the Conservative MPs to develop that moral backbone and overcome the alleged bullying and blackmailing and vote out this incompetent lying Prime Minister. Instead, we now have a situation where, in essence, we've got a death by a thousand cuts, a dead man walking, in essence, and a government of the walking wounded. They will not be able to deal with the major issues of the time, whether it's tackling the climate crisis, whether it's tackling the cost of living crisis. In fact, over the last five months, while they did not put in a windfall tax, there was per day a £50 million increase in terms right. of the bills of British working people. And I think what needs to happen is that the government needs to be focused, rather than saving the Prime Minister every single day, they need to be focused on the job at hand. Well, he uh, says he I, is. Let me stop you there. He says he is. He says uh, at his cabinet meeting today, he said we need to focus on addressing uh, the issues of the day, that being the extremely high cost of living at present. I want to take a listen to your party leader for a moment, Keir Starmer. This was his uh, response to what happened last night. The British public are fed up, fed up with a prime minister who promises big but never delivers. Fed up with a Prime Minister who's presided over a culture of lies and law-breaking at the heart of government. Fed up with a Prime Minister who is utterly unfit for the great office that he holds. Conservative MPs made their choice tonight. They have ignored the British public. Question is, what does your party do about this, sir? Yeah, well, look, Becky, what we have been calling for for months now is for the Prime Minister to go because not only do we have the issue of misleading Parliament, misleading the British public and running roughshod over the ministerial code, we've also had issues regarding corruption in the handing out of crony COVID contracts to Tory donors. We had the whole Owen Paterson saga and how the Prime Minister uh, tried to save mm. Owen Paterson and his cronies from that. And that's what needed to happen. Unfortunately, although the vast majority right. of the British public, and according to opinion polls, the majority of the British public wanted the Prime Minister to resign, unfortunately, only just over 41% of Conservative MPs felt that way. Now, what that's meant is that the Prime Minister no longer holds the confidence of approximately three quarters of his own backbenchers. Once we take out the uh, paid uh, ministerial roles of approximately right, 160... I understand that. I understand that. Uh, can I just press you on, on, on this next point, though, because um, I, I, I think we're going over what happened last night, uh, which is understandable. I guess I, what I want to get from you is whether or not Mr Johnson steps down, and at this point he's going nowhere. Britons are, it seems, simply not convinced that Labour, your party, are ready to lead. Has, has Mr Starmer shown any proof to the contrary. I mean, he's accused the Prime Minister of lying over the Partygate scandal, and yet he is now being questioned by police over possible COVID rule breaches too. He promised he would stand down if fine. Would that actually be the right thing for the party at this point? And if so, who should take the party on? Because the yeah. Labour Party needs to act at this point, doesn't it? Well, Becky, I think uh, Sir Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, has acted with a great deal of integrity and honesty. The, the incident to which you're referring, that has already been investigated once by the police, and they have concluded categorically that there was no rule-breaking. But uh, 
But pending this investigation, I think also, once again, Keir has done the right thing to say if any wrongdoing is proved, if there is a fine, that unlike the Prime Minister, mm. he would actually resign on a point of principle because we need to Got reinstill it. honesty, integrity and principles within our polity. We cannot have this continual pathological lying going on wherein we then are the bane of uh, uh, a lot of the, the ills within our society and we cannot then go on the world stage and preach to others about about values, mm. about the rule of law, if our own prime minister is not respecting that. And I think that uh, as far the, as the Labour uh, Party is concerned, the, the, the leader of the opposition, I think, has already uh, been very, very good in terms of the way right. that he has conducted himself. But what we need to know in terms of uh, the Labour Party's uh, positioning is if opinion polls are to be believed, then we are ahead on all of the opinion polls. So if there was an election tomorrow, then Labour would be victorious. But we right. cannot be complacent. We have to make sure that we have a policy platform put out to the British pu public and especially the hardworking uh, Brits that they can realise that Labour is now ready for government.